So we would like to find out our L0. So we would like to find out the K because the BOD is something that you can measure from uh, after you take it out from the incubator. So the day is just a day, no problem. So we like to find out how to find out that K. So in order for us to find out the K, okay, you need to do several days of your OD. Okay, that means you have to have you take samples from river and then if you want to do dilution or you do not want to do dilution, it's up to your whatever you, you think. Okay, if you you think that the BOD is so small, then you do not have to do dilution. Okay, so you you put those samples into four bottles: bottle one, bottle two, bottle three, and bottle four. So after you fill up all those bottles, you put those bottles into the incubator. And after day one, take out one bottle only, and then measure the BOD. So you got the BOD to be W, and then you have to uh, get this. Okay. 1 is 1 day divided by BODW, okay, to the power of 1 third. And then after the second day, you go to the lab and then take out the second bottle and check the DO, okay. Basically, you calculated the BOD to be X value. And then you have to obtain this value. 2 divided by X, 2 is our time, divided by our BOD, X, BOD 2, to the power of 1 third. And then you have the third bottles. Okay, uh, again measure the BOD and then you have the BOD to be Y and then you calculate the val value for this and then you take the fourth bottle and then measure it after fourth day and then you obtain your BOD to be Z and then you have to calculate this value 4 divided by Z to the power of 1 third. So after you got obtained all these values and also the day, you need to plot a graph. Okay. The y-axis of a graph is this time divided by BODT to the power of one third. And the x-axis of the graph is time, one, two, three, four. And you will see a straight line graph. Okay? So after you plot that straight line graph, you measure the, the gradient and then also the intercepts. So you obtain the value A. You obtain the value B. So our K is actually 2.61 times B divided by K. Okay, so this is the value of K. So once you obtain the value of K, okay, you should be able to get the ultimate BOD. So which is very easy. Is that clear at this moment? Clear. Yeah.